What's up guys, it's your boys Awoki back out with another review for pre-order and these are so beautiful statues for these Kobukias, Kotobukias, I'm, hopefully I'm saying right, from these new statues that are like 13 or between 11 and 13 inches tall these Yu-Gi-Oh Egyptian god statues that are getting ready to release in Jan or December January and February and we're gonna be taking a look at all three Egyptian gods for these Ko Kotobukias sorry uh, Yu-Gi-Oh statues that you guys need to add to your collection if you guys are a Yu-Gi-Oh fan and just entirely like the look of these statues but let's take a look If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button down below at the bottom right. Turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you're going to get that little ring notification that Zwolke myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I say this on every video, but again, thank you so much for the, the support on this channel. We are just surpassed 8,000 not too long ago. We're about to hit 8,300. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing, enjoying the content, smashing that subscribe button, comment down below. I surely read every single comment and reply to most comments that are positive Um, because obviously the negative ones are definitely suck to, to read. But obviously, again, thank you so very much. Again, I can't, the words are not there, but Let's get into the video while we're here. And that is these Kotobukias statues. I hopefully I'm saying that right. But these new statues that are getting ready to release starting in uh, December. I'm glad that they're coming not all at once. Because these statues are going to put you back $220 for each one. But they definitely do justice. And we're going to be taking a look at them. Obviously if you guys don't know already. These are the Egyptian gods statues that you guys can see if you guys are like what the hell is an egyptian god and who who what is Yu-Gi-Oh? obviously Yu-Gi-Oh is a du or a dueling card game that you pretty much duel with monsters and these cards i don't know if still today i collect the cards i haven't watched them i haven't watched like the new new ones with the bike and obviously i pretty much got done watching Yu-Gi-Oh when it was like Yu-Gi-Oh gx and then i just kind of just kept collecting the cards. But these cards, Obelisk the Tormentor, the Winged Dragon of Ra, and the Slifer the Sky Dragon, or Slifer the Sky Dragon, not the Slifer, Slifer the Sky Dragon, were the gods of the game. Pretty much, I have all these in mint, beautiful condition and cards, but I'm going to need to have some statues to go with them. And these statues are those Kotobukias statues that are coming very, very soon. There's going to be a couple, a few websites you guys can pre-order these from. I'm going to pre-order them from GameStop um, just because I have a GameStop card and I have some points. And it'll definitely be um, a little bit of a discount. But these, car, or these god statues are a must. Um, so taking a look at the website, if we go over there right now, you guys can see starting off the bat, you guys can see Slifer, the Sky Dragon will be the first one to debut this um, December. Starting off at 220, it's definitely going to put a hole in your wallet. But looking at these statues, if I, if, if I click on the actual one where it's right here, look how beautiful this statue is. This one is sitting at 30 centimeters tall, so just under 13 inches, but just gorgeous, and I I definitely need it. Slifer was pretty much one of my favorite card or Egyptian gods, but then I became a big fan of Ra or the um, Wing Dragon of Ra. But the Slifer still just looks amazing, and you guys can pre-order um, starting, or you can expect it um, December first. So a month away, you guys can pre-order this bad boy. The next one that will be up to date is going to be the Winged Dragon of Ra. This one is just the, the gold that you guys can see on this character, um, or this monster, not this character, is just magnificently beautiful. I kind of wish that we would be able to see the orbed form of the Winged Dragon of Ra, or the enclosed capsule of the Winged Dragon of Ra, because actually, if you can't, the way to use this card is you use it, but you have to use an enchantment or a um, Egyptian phrase or wording. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been a while off the hand. But if you were not able to or use that dialect and enchantment of that 
wording that you needed to say. You weren't able to use the Winged Dragon of Ra, and it was pretty much just in this sphere mode. So I wish that, that we could see that one as well, but I mean, we can't be too complainive um, about that. But you guys can see right here, it's expected the 31st of January. So I'm definitely excited about that. I'm actually kind of excited too that they're not all at once. So it doesn't, it doesn't hit, hit your wallet all at once, um, which it, it's Merrick's monster. Um, if you guys didn't know too, Slifer was Yugi's monster. Um, and then Oblis the Torment or Oblis the Tormentor was Seto Kaiba, one of my favorite characters as well. But Wing Dragon of Ra, well, like I said before, will be able to be pre-ordered the 31st of January, not the 1st of January, the 31st of January. And then right around the corner after that, it's going to be Oblisk the Tormentor, um, which is, again, uh, like I said, Yugi or uh, Seto Kaiba's Egyptian god. But you guys can see right there, this, just the way he looks. He looks strong, brick, stone looking. It just, the detail that uh, Koto Bukia statues look, are phenomenal and this one definitely does justice as well it will be coming out february the 28th um so not the first not the 31st because i think this is the leap year um where we actually don't have the 30 no not the leap year the 28 days of february but again this one is the 37 inch tall obelisk the tormentor um but i just still all the pre-orders are available right now you just can't get the statue until um december or february or january so again i mean you could pre-order them all right now if you can but you can wait if you wanted to but i i definitely think that these are going to go fast if you guys love uh kotobukiya statues and you love obelisk the tormentor slide for the sky dragon and wing dragon of Ra. You're definitely going to want to get them as soon as possible because I see these going online like on eBay for almost double if not triple the amount in the future because they're they're heavy statues. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video of these Egyptian gods. One more last one more last look at these bad boys. Just oh, so beautiful. The color, the shading, the tinting. I mean, it does probably help that they have a light above, but just the overall look and that they are actually looking like they're floating and uh, flying on the Slifer and the Wing Dragon of Rob. Just, oh, oh Kotobuki up. You guys definitely made some good statues. If you guys are pre-ordering these, comment down below which one you guys are getting. If you guys are going to get it all three or one or two or all or if you guys are going to do a hard pass, I like to know that your popular or not popularity, but your excitement on these or your opinion on them. If you guys think they're completely trash or whatever, I, I, I want to see what you guys think and like the video because it definitely helps out. And uh, the link was will be down in the description for you guys to pre-order them yourself. Um, so again, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.